truck I gotta convert this morning gotta knock it out before I can go play <laughs> all right I got everything spaced for every all the tools separated fuel fill fuel fill coolant cylinder in general and my general wrenches for my high pressure fittings and my drill bits so let's begin all right so I'm gonna pull give it holes Three quarter, low speed. Okay, all pre drilled. That's for the coolant and the low pressure hose, or excuse me, low and high pressure hose and coolant and low rear harness, mounting holes, OEM mounting holes. Gotta clean all this stuff up, touch it up with paint. You're required to touch it up, it will rust. Excellent. Let it dry and we'll start on the fuel fill. We'll use this plastic to cover up the body because we're going to be drilling it. Excellent. Open up the install manual and this is a six and a half short bed and where the fuel fill is going is on the side so we can see that it will be 16 down, 16 over. So we'll measure. down and 16 over so this is where fuel flow is gonna go you notice I got my general box with me my fuel fill box and my drill hole hole saws for my drill bits so and the rest I got underneath here make a pivot hole Two nine sixteenths to drill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is reach drill, same thing. cylinder in the back so we got this piece to go under mm -hmm. all right let's go ahead and set this up Andrew okay let's put a center all right let me loop it all right so uh, let's see which side is which. You're gonna control that side, I'm gonna control that side, okay? So I'm gonna raise it up slowly, and we're gonna, as soon as we get up high enough, we're gonna, okay, hold on a second, let's move this out of the way. That's perfect, is it good? Go ahead, go on the other side. Clear. Blue Barely. Let's go in your side first, let's get that in. Is it in? In? Okay, gonna push the cylinder forward. All right. Ah. All right, so we got it tightened. It's in place. Now, since the cylinder is tightened and installed, we will do the fuel fill assembly. So we're about a quarter of a way done after the fuel fill assembly. 
So at least we have the high pressure installed. I'm gonna go ahead and work on putting all this together. So what we're gonna do now, since I did this car before, I know that this is a drain right here at the bottom. This is a drain, so it always has to stay down. And here we got our hose and our hole, which is gonna go through there. So we're gonna basically shoot for like this. So we'll tighten all this together. And I have special tools to do that. Put a fuel receptacle. And I'm gonna go to the vise and get all this stuff tightened up. See, I got this thing in the vise, the fuel cup in the vise. And I'm gonna tighten it. Okay, it's tightened. And then what I'm gonna do, loosen that up. I'm gonna get this thing tight right here. So I'm gonna do this. Since I got all this assembled now, what we're gonna do is install the unit right here. And we're gonna install our quarter turn valve. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I don't have this wrench, so what I'm gonna do is. So, what I like to do is, after we tighten a hose, I usually like to put a sticker on there that, that is a sign that it is tightened and ready to go. So, let's come back to it. There you go. And this hose will get a sticker too, except underneath the hood. So all this is tightened, this is tightened, this is open. Let's drop all this, and then we're gonna do the P-clumps for the lines. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, we got the coolant lines here, and I'm gonna make sure this is good. I don't have to trim any, and uh, I'm gonna show you how I routed them. We're gonna be using these P-clamps, and I had to make make the holes for the rivets, which are right here. One, so this is gonna go like this, basically. Beautiful. And that's the way the coolant lines are ran. Okay, now we're gonna strap it right here. So I'm gonna go get my P-clamp and clamp it insulation out and what I'm gonna do is do a pivot hole right down here all the way through there we go through right here look inside see what we got all right here it is you can see it right there I'm gonna fix it up Make sure this is in place. No comment. This guy didn't belt add the valve to the racing experience. This thing would be very happy. Let's do this. anything you grab it okay we're done with the fuel switch and gauge install
viewers, subscribe to my channel to see more of awesomeness. <laughs> you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>